Hey, what's up everybody? So I've got here a uh, 2002 Intimidator species. Uh, right now it's got a, a leak coming from one of the hoses. So I'm gonna record taking it apart and trying to fix that. Never actually done it before. Thought I'd document it in case it helps anybody else out. As I know I wasn't able to find any videos out there showing taking this thing apart. So what you're gonna need, uh, some thread locker blue, some auto cocker hose, allen wrenches, needle nose pliers, probably a knife. Might need some other stuff, but if so, I'll, I'll detail that. Uh, first three allen wrenches I'm gonna use are the 332nds, 564ths, and 116th. And we'll show that along the way. So I'll be pausing and, and recording. So here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is take off the grip and we're gonna use the 564ths. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna do these two screws here on this side. Got that. I don't like the videos that show people unscrewing and unscrewing. It takes forever. So I'll be pausing, like I said, to uh, remove those screws. Okay, we got two screws on this side. And these are out. Hold the phone with one hand, doing stuff with the other. And this will just slide off. There's a screw, I'll put them over here so we don't lose them. Try to keep things organized. All right, next, we're gonna use the 332nds Allen wrench and we're gonna remove a screw here, a screw here. Actually, first, we're gonna remove this black piece because there's a screw underneath here. And this one's gonna be the 116th Allen wrench and we'll remove these three screws here. We need to see that better. So these three screws here. One, two, three. All right, so these screws are undone. Now this little decorative piece. I'm gonna move that stuff up here. And where'd you go? And this piece comes off. One thing you gotta be careful of is these buttons. They pop in through the back, so when you lift it up, a lot of times they're gonna come out. So we'll keep those over there. Now we're gonna take our uh, 332nds uh, Allen key, remove this screw, this screw, and this screw. All right, screws are loosened. That out. And I like to keep them in the same general direction. So if I took them out in this kind of triangular fashion, I'll try to put them there in that same triangular fashion. So now this clamshell piece comes up and you get to the internals. Now, this piece right here, you can disconnect, you just pull that apart. So that just pulls apart and I'm going to set that aside. And the place where it's leaking is right here behind the LPR and HPR. So the leak is coming from right there off that air barb. And then I'm going to replace this hose. And to get to that, I'm going to have to take this off. I've only got one screw on there for some reason. I just bought this gun. Seems to be missing some screws. Should have at least, I think, three in there. So we'll take this off for the LCD and then you can actually disconnect it from the board here by lifting up these tabs on each side. So pop that up, pop that up and take it out. So we're going to do that. Okay, I've got the screw removed from here and I'm going to pop the tabs up here and I'll show you that. I'm going to take a tiny little screwdriver, pop that up. 
pop that up and this ribbon cable should just slide right out and we'll remove that to the side and actually you should probably take the battery out don't cause any damage okay battery's out Okay, let's see. Okay, having never done this before, I'm just kind of treading in uncharted waters here, so I'm just gonna be randomly taking things apart. May or may not need to do some of this stuff just to get to, to what I need to replace. I'm thinking that I'm gonna take these two screws out here to remove this piece or get it out of the way so that I can get to this a little better and unscrew that so I can put the thread lock on there so pause and do that real quick okay screws are loosened I used a 1 8 in, 1 8 uh, inch allen key take these out not sure if this is gonna help uh, maybe just a little bit unless I start taking some of the other hoses off not gonna do that. All right, so now I can try to get to this here. And I'm gonna try to use, see if I have a little wrench, or use these pliers to uh, pull the hose off. All right, so I was able to pull the hose off using a pair of needle nose pliers. And these two wires came, popped off in the process. So in order to get to this part of the hose, I just unscrewed this uh, little bolt here with a 1 16th Allen wrench. I'll take that out, it's a nice long screw. So I can kind of manipulate that and move it up a little bit. Probably have to take this board out or at least loosen it so I can get to it a little easier. And that one, Tiny guy as well. Yep. So one sixteenth as well. Then we'll loosen that up. Getting deep into this. So there we go. Doesn't look like there's another screw under there. All right. So I'm going to kind of move this out of the way. Lift this up and pull that off. Okay, finally got the hose off. Now I'm gonna measure out the new one, cut it, and we'll put it on there. But first, I'm gonna take this bad boy out, this air barb, put some thread lock on there. And see if I have a little wrench. If not, try to use my needle nose to get it out. Okay, got the air barb out. Came out pretty easy with the needle nose. It's got a little bushing here. Take the thread lock, put a tiny, tiny dab on the threads, and stick it back in there. Got my lock tight, and I've got the blue 242. I'll take it, put it on a Q-tip, put just a tiny dab, or so I've been told, on the threads there. Pop it back in, and go from there. Doesn't seem to be focusing very well. There we go. All right, so I'll do that. Okay, dropped, put a little dab on there, got it back in, and if I didn't mention, I was able to use needle nose pliers to get it off there really easily. Uh, stuck it back on there with the Loctite. Hopefully I got enough on there. Uh, I've got my autococker hose cut. I'm gonna try to put that on now. And here we go, more fun. Okay, flashing forward a bit. <clears throat> I was able to get the hose on there. I uh, connected it to the barb here, connected it to the solenoid there. Uh, this is 1 16th internal diameter uh, autococker hose. It's a pain in the butt to get on there. One thing that made it a lot easier was to take a pen, ballpoint pen like this, with a pretty pointy tip, 
stick it out and shove that into this is the old hose shove that into the hole there and kind of wiggle it around keep it in there for about a minute uh, even push this a little bit farther out get a little more uh, distance on there shove it all the way in there keep it in there eh, for about a minute and let it expand once it's kind of expanded try to get it on there as quickly as possible before it shrinks back down so I used mostly my hands and kind of muscled it on there I used a little bit uh, the needle nose pliers and worked its way slowly on there did the same thing for this side it's connected to the solenoid probably need to get that a little bit farther on looks like it's not fully on there all the way um, <clears throat> so that was that pain in the butt so now I'll be going in reverse and putting everything back together that's uh, pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to to ask in the comments and I will try to answer Thanks for watching.